Okay. What's the weight ratio from normal to Tatanima? To side mount. Uh, yeah. I remember you, I gave you three kilos. Yeah. Right? So I stayed So it's three. still there. <laughs>
most of my diving life I've been spending together with Sunto computers and I choose them because all of my friends and my instructors was telling me that this is one of the best computers you can get in the market and I can agree because that time when I started diving that was 2003 that was definitely one of the best computers in the market and what actually made this computer a really good one it was the algorithm the algorithm which was specifically designed by Santis for Sunto or actually Sunto invested into their own algorithm and they provided the market or diving community with one of the most conservative computers possible at that moment and uh, it was great it was great and uh, so yeah the last computer I had from the Sunto I lost and it was 2018 so that means only two years ago in some point I started diving technical dives and in this moment I on a I don't know in a dive community arena came up the Shevote with amazing service with amazing computers and these computers used Bullman algorithm and that was the first time I heard about the Bullman at all right so I did my technical courses that's what the first time when I heard about that guy and then BAM and that was the Shevote Pet Petrel uh, 1 computer and and I started to see the difference between these two computers I mean between the Sunto and between the Shevote before I had the impression that you can decompress only at 4.2 meters as usually Sunto do it because whatever was below 4.2 meters it was really long it's like was multiplied by three minutes or something like that and that freaked me out first of all we have a lot of people who even don't know on which depth to decompress they freaking out just because the computer gave some um, decompression minute and now they are like at six meters depth or five meters depth that's what they learn during the courses that that's the depth where to decompress and now it's this three minutes or four minutes on the diving computer screen and it doesn't goes down and that's just because they were on a wrong depth because Sunto think that the best place to decompress is 4.2 meters but just always keep in mind that it's not always the conditions is good enough to be in this depth because sometimes it's really choppy on a surface and you going up and down so finally you're stressing out you're trying to get down in the end of the dive your cylinder is pretty empty your you have a struggles with the buoyancy while at the five six meters that it's still okay so when I get to know the share and at the same time it was a time when I did my technical courses I understood that you actually decompressing also on a way up soon to do it but it's not clear for the people no one is really reading us they can always say that please read the manual but it's something the people always missed out and mostly in all the dive centers as a rental computer there is this Sunto Zoo because it's the cheapest one and it costs around 300 euros or 350 US dollars and that's what you can get in the dive centers last year when we opened at the dive center we were thinking about which so there was actually we considered to buy these diving computers and then we came across this computer which is made by Aqualung and the model name is i100 and then I found it's working on a Bullman's uh, algorithm and there was no doubt anymore that we need this one and it was also cheaper than Sunto computer so we've been using these computers in our dive center for about more than a year almost two years 
no, not two years, but one and a half years and it's perfect. It works the same as my shear water diving computer, same algorithm. It's decompressing the same, everything is clear. So if I got some four minutes at 30 meters by accident because there was a down going current and now I, on a way up, it's still giving me some decompression, then by reaching the six meter depth where I should do my safety stop, my decompression is done already. And that's super cool actually. And that's what I like about this diving computer. And as a sink, what actually Sunto is losing positions is a battery. So how to change the battery? If you change the battery and you there is a O-ring, so then basically you flood all the computer and that's you can throw it into the trash bin. This one simple. They actually even give you a key in a, in a set, what you buy. In a box, there is also the key, which gives you a chance to open and change the battery by itself. At the moment, I have a feeling that this one stays somewhere on a shelf. Yeah, so this one. Sherwood is a little bit different category because Sherwood is like a kind of technical computer and if you have money you can buy a Sherwood of course but if you need a really reliable really computer which you can trust I Aqualung i100 is perfect I'm not that happy about the display and the display should be maybe a little bit different for the Sunto it's better I mean the interface but the algorithm is everything for me thank you very much for watching see you tomorrow again and don't forget to follow us on facebook and instagram and subscribe youtube see you bye